Hey guys, today we are going to embrace our destiny, our destiny as the MTG Drama Channel, at least for now. And I'm going to bring all the skeletons out to play. Now, many of you may not remember the monthly magic box. This was heavily promoted by the majority of YouTubers. Yes, Tolarian. Yes, Weds. Yes, my immortal enemy, Roxenbox90. And they loved it. They told all the people to subscribe to it. The grades were incredibly high. Now, that's not the problem because maybe, maybe they didn't know it was an epic scam and only people receiving the boxes were themselves. Maybe they didn't have knowledge that the person who was scamming all the subscribers wasn't sending boxes out to them or was sending boxes a month, two months, four months late. The guy, I have a video on my channel showing that he is a criminal. He stole tens of thousands of dollars from loyal Tolarian and loyal Weds subscribers who were being promoted to buy this box. Now, as you can read here, this loot crate service for Magic the Gathering is a good value and makes a great gift. It is also a fun way to treat yourself to some MTG swag. Is that, is that something that people would say, it's a recommendation, right? It's promoting this box. So I said, hey, wait a second, all these stuff is on Dave and Adams. Like literally this entire box and every future box is on Dave and Adams. And they're selling this $20 merchandise item for like a dollar or $2 on Dave and Adams. There's something wrong. This guy is not giving the value that you guys are saying he's giving. And obviously all these videos now minus the F, the flunk video have been unlisted by Tolarian. I only found one video from the mana source, but perhaps he took down his other videos. I did find all the videos from Rocks and Boxing, and I wanted to show you that this was the common, common characteristic of MTG sponsorship at the time. And people don't call it sponsorship, and why not? Because they were given free boxes. I made the mistake when I attacked this box, people were incredibly offended at me. They got very angry on the Facebook group, the private Facebook group that we were all part of. And I listed each item. Each item was on sale at this guy. I mean, he just bought the stuff in Dave and Adams, even the playmats, the Frost Titan playmats. They're still on Dave and Adams. Half the stuff in these boxes are still on sale on Dave and Adams for pennies and pennies and pennies. And only after many views, many promotions, saying how awesome it is, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe. Did they finally give up on the monthly magic box? Here's the problem. They knew way beforehand because I told them, and do you know what they responded to me at? Do you know what they said? We weren't paid. So blank up, MTG Lion. We were not paid. Your video is false. So in my video, I assumed they would be being paid because why else lead your sheep to the slaughterhouse? I mean, you get a kickback, no? No, no kickback? You're just leading them to the slaughterhouse to get like decimated because it's funny to you like so they knew they knew beforehand that their subscribers were dming them private messaging them putting messages on their videos that you can still look at today that they were not receiving their boxes they knew subscribers were not receiving anything yet they continued to make video after video after video saying that it's a good buy, it's good for the casual fan, and so many people got hosed, and no one talked about it, except for me, subtly, right? Because now that we're going to embrace MTG drama for at least the end of this month, we are going to just throw out every skeleton, and this is one of the things that has annoyed me the most about our community, is how dishonest sometimes it is. And you don't know the dishonesty because many of you are not YouTubers. Many of you haven't been in a Facebook group. Many of you don't understand how it all begun to, it's still strange that we could all go on a Google Hangout together, HQ and Wedge on the same Hangout together. That's how it used to be. Today, 
promotion, sponsorships, Patreon money to a quarter million dollars, t- first class tickets to Lon- GP London, right, to play Popper. That sounds kind of ridiculous, but hey. And here's what's the, what the professor will say. Hey, it wasn't a first class ticket. It was only business class. So you're lying, MTG Lion. But he doesn't get the point. The point was the monthly magic box was sending free boxes and you were promoting it. That's the point. They admitted that they were receiving free boxes. I assumed they were getting money as well as the free box. They were not. How does that change the sponsorship? Somehow, logistically, it changed everything. And I was the, I was the bad sheep. And I wasn't invited to the new better Facebook group with Wedge and Tolarian. And then, you know, I was stuck with HQ, which then I left the group because I was like, okay, well, uh, I've had enough. Goodbye, guys. Um, at the very end of the day, there's lots of dishonesty that I'm going to drag to the light. If, if you want. So, if this video gets, let's say, let's go for the moon. Let's go for 300 likes. If this video gets 300 likes, I'll, I'll drop another video, you know, showing some of uh, the things that people have done. Pico Trade's bad, Monthly Magic Box, box is bad, but there were things that when we first started out that I remember and I have, you know, I could probably find information on it. It's just going to take a while because I had to go back in my, like, you. I had a Facebook account, but it wasn't like a real Facebook account, but I have DMs, I have messages where you just think about, it's Game Finder. Like, it's so funny when, like, if you weren't part of that group, you don't understand what it was that led to the drama today. It was Game Finder. Like, it doesn't make any sense why it would be Game Finder, but it was Game Finder. MTG the headquarters spent a lot of money and a lot of resources, and that was the first time that people gave and people gave them like ten thousand dollars, something like that. As soon as that happened, Wedge realized that he could make a ton of money, a ton of money doing something similar, and that's where we had problems because Wedge was attacking GameFinder and promoting his own stuff, which made MTG headquarters angry, and that's why they don't like each other. So at the end of the day, if you guys want, I'll drag all the skeletons to the party to play. There are plenty. There's even skeletons between uh, HQ and Rogue Deck Builder, although they have publicly talked about it. Um, there's skeletons between, and that was over uh, something that doesn't matter anymore. Like, what's it? Like a TV thing? Like, what's a group called? I don't even know. It's like TGV, and you're supposed to sponsor each other. There is a lot of really nasty behavior in our community by MTG YouTubers. Very nasty. It all stems from the very beginning when you had this apple, the apple of money. The apple of money and everyone just stabbed each other in the back and just fought over that apple of money. And because at the end of the day, let's let's be serious. Let's let's take it seriously because it is Christmas Eve. Something is interesting. When someone's livelihood, when 100% of someone's livelihood, reputation, personal makeup, when their entire existence is based in Magic the Gathering YouTubing, that's a very dangerous person. That is a very dangerous person willing to do anything to get rid of their opponents, willing to do anything to get bigger. Just imagine if you, you didn't have many friends in real life. You... We're living in your with your parents in their basement, and you had this large YouTube following that love you, and you were making lots of money from it, and you were growing and you were growing and you were growing and you're getting more and more famous. Well, here's the crazy part, right? This is the crazy part. Your entire personality and your dynamics is MTG. Without Magic the Gathering, what would you be? So me, I have other hobbies. I have a business to run. Uh, I get this question a lot. Hey, how come the business is only female? We have males. They just don't ever appear in magic videos because they're too cool. I mean, they don't want, no, very few people want to be in these videos to be quite honest with you. So we do have males in our company. It's an even split. It's actually 50-50 right now. They're just developers and 
they uh, to be quite honest they're pretty gross like they don't like shower very like how can i say it? they're developers hmm. yeah that's a good way to say it. and so we have a company and it's 50 50 we have a good time christmas parties christmas dinners and you know all these great fun stuff and i have investors i'm trying to get new ones now because my old ones kind of suck but hopefully i get some new investors and then we'll be able to celebrate some more I still owe you a company tour. Uh, so obviously my home is not the company. My home is just where we hang out on Fridays. So we don't have to go into the company because it costs money for parking. My company is a lot better for Pokemon Go though. So it's a trade-off. Anyway, that is it. Happy holidays, guys. And if you celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas. And yes, I celebrate Christmas. Anyway, bye guys.